hello all welcome again this is a session on deadlock to be explained so please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button if you did not subscribe so as per request we already discussed what is a deadlock in uh, uh, previous rtos uh, videos rtos uh, faqs anyways i'll explain it to you in detail now with an example deadlock is a situation where a set of processes are blocked because each process is holding a resource and using for another resource <clears throat> for another resource acquired by some other process suppose in this example you can see usb 1 usb 2 usb 3 3 process uh, so if one is holding a resource uh, another one will be uh, requesting or waiting for the another uh, from the process 2 uh, or from process 3 uh, requesting or waiting this way deadlock happens we more precise consider an example okay so consider an example when two trains are coming uh, towards each other on the same track as shown in the figure and there is only one track none of the trains can move once they are in front of each other isn't it a similar situation occurs in operating systems when there are two or more processes that hold some resources and wait for resource held by others so this in, i hope mm, this uh, kind of situation is called as deadlock exactly the train 1 cannot move forward or train 2 cannot move forward because it is waiting for the resource called track over here or um, one will be requesting for the others cannot move forward at all so what are all the situations or conditions uh, that can ri- arise mm, Uh, <clears throat> this kind of deadlock situations there are four situations one is mutual exclusion second one is hold and wait and no preemption and the fourth one is circular wait see one or more than one resource when it comes to mutual exclusion one or more than one resource mm, or non shareable only one process can use at a time right p of x plus p of y equal to 1 this is the equation right if p of x is happening the p of y will not happen hold and wait is something like a process is holding at least one resource and waiting for uh, <clears throat> waiting for resources next is no preemption if there is no preemption a resource cannot be taken from a process unless the process re- releases the resource and then in a circular wait a set of processes are waiting for each other in circular form so these four conditions can arise these are the necessary conditions to happen uh, uh, then we can consider it as an deadlock there should be way, way out right methods for handling deadlock so i know three ways we will discuss that one is deadlock prevention or avoidance the idea is not is to not let the system into a deadlock state one can zoom into each category individually prevention is done by negating one of the above method <coughs> above mentioned necessary conditions for deadlock avoidance is kind of futuristic in nature by using strategy of avoidance we have to make an assumption we need to ensure that all information about resources which process will need are known to us prior to execution of the process we better use banker's algorithm banker's algorithm is a famous algorithm uh, used for safety and uh, uh, resource allocation so that we may not end up with a dead uh, lock i'll show you example after this after discussing the two other methods of handling the dead lock 
second method is deadlock detection and recovery let deadlock occur then do preemption to handle it once occurred when it occurs we can give the preemption uh, uh, conditions like let this task uh, preempt and take the resource and use it and then give it like that ignore the problem altogether if deadlock is very rare then ignore the problem altogether and restart the system or reboot the system this is the approach that both windows and unix take but uh, that may that may work or may not work with vx works and uh, uh, win c real time operating systems sometimes it may lose we, we better not get into the third method so the best way is uh, taking care of the safety with the bankers algorithm let's look at an example with the bankers algorithm the algorithm for by finding out is this is just an example this is not everything find out whether or not a system is in a safe state can be described as follows let work and finish be vectors of the length m and n respectively initialize work equal to available finish of i equal to false for i equal to 1 2 3 and so on to n find an i such that both finish of i equal to false and um, need of i less than or equal to work if no such i exists go to step 4 that means if finish of i equal to true for all i we don't need to go for the third step at all so if uh, if such conditions exist then work equal to work plus allocation of i finish of i equal to true and go to step 2 and do it uh, repeat it again and then your uh, uh, operation will be more safe and resources will not be uh, held uh, resources will not be held in this deadlock or processes will not stuck up in the deadlock thanks for your time um, please kindly subscribe by clicking the subscribe button thank you